and this is the story of my Rolex Submariner reference 5513. I was in the military in Vietnam for two years. When I got released, I decided to go to Europe. It was early 1969, but I figured I was gonna say two or three weeks. Ended up staying six months. Basically, I was in every European country. I went down to North Africa and Morocco, up as far as Denmark, and then going east, I got as far as Turkey, Istanbul, and of course I went to Yugoslavia, Greece, Bulgaria. And at the latter part of my journey, I met this guy, Ted, in California. It was in Pomploma, the Running of the Bulls Festival. I ran with the Bulls with a bunch of guys who tried to run as a club. So we all bought Red Berets. And <laughs> it was a um, frightening experience. And they can run you down in a flash. It's one of those life experiences. I was happy I, I did. And hey, he said, I'm really getting low on funds because he had been released from the military, decided to stay in Europe and backpack. At some point, he had to make a decision to go home. I noticed he had a Rolex Submariner. So I said, i tell you what I'll do. I'll give you my Seiko diver watch that I bought in Hong Kong, the Seven Seas store, which is like for sailors and that type thing. And I, I remember specifically that I paid $27. And that was a diver watch also, a very nice watch. I believe a new Rolex at that time was about $250. The fellow I bought it from bought it on a military PX in Germany. So of course he had a special rate on the thing. We made a deal. I said, I'll give you $50 and the Seiko for your Rolex. So he agreed. That's how I acquired the Rolex. The older Rolexes are all hand painted. If you examine them, the face, things are not perfect. Each piece is unique. I have a different band on it now, the NATO band. But otherwise now it's been a great watch. It's fun to have. And Basically now I just wear it for dress up occasions. And that is the story of my Rolex Submariner reference 5513.